What is up YouTube and welcome to this Avengers Infinity War and Avengers 4 video. So if you're new to the channel, please do consider leaving a like and a subscribe down below if you did enjoy the video. And well, we've got some big news here, some possible spoilers about the upcoming Avengers 4. I know Avengers Infinity War is still in the cinema screens, still awesome and I'm really hoping to see that again for a third time. But just a gentle warning, there will be spoilers in this video, so Thanos. But there will be spoilers, possibly, for Avengers 4. Just a fair, fair warning for you there. And we're also going to be talking Captain Marvel at the end of the video as well. There's just some cool stuff I want to talk about as well. But Gwyneth Paltrow has leaked, or not leaked, but there's been an interesting interview with our Pepper Potts in the Avengers Infinity War official magazine. So the official magazine and, well, it's a bit weird that we've got spoilers in the official magazine when you think that, well, they Marvel want to kind of avoid all sorts of possible problems and dilemmas with spoilers. Tom Holland didn't even get a full script. And, of course, other spoiler kind of guy himself, Hulk, well, he also didn't get a full script so they didn't really want to reveal any spoilers with those guys because really you can't be trusted after Mark Ruffalo pretty much streamed the first 10 minutes of Thor Ragnarok from his phone by mistake he must have been kicking himself after that but something interesting has come out of this interview with Gwyneth Paltrow and it does really involve the story arc that Pepper Potts and Tony Stark will be facing in Avengers 4. So if you will remember, half of the universe has disappeared into dust and boy, those memes are spicy fresh. I love the memes of everyone. The, the best one was Stoke Football Club when they when they got relegated to the championship. They just, their badge disappeared. If you, if you don't watch football, you probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But I'm going to carry on to something else with this. But the best thing was seeing these people disappear. But the problem is we know that they're going to come back. However, Tony Stark is here to stay. And we've got to realise a lot of... A lot of my videos on this channel have been discussing how are people, how are they going to come back. But let's remember that these characters are going to have to actually survive a life where half of the universe has been kind of disintegrated. And obviously there'll be quite a lot of people going missing. There'll probably be a lot of plane crashes as well as we saw helicopter crashes as we saw in the post credit scene. But Captain Marvel was alerted, so she's she's on her way to come and sort Thanos out. You know, she's going to sort him out proper, good and proper. But how will these survivors actually deal with everything that has happened so far? And what will happen? What time frame will Avengers 4 be? So the, that's the real big question. Now, in this interview, Gwyneth Paltrow has stated that their next movie, they're going to be 10 years later, and they're going to be having a child, which is, you know, a bit of a shock, considering the fact that we've only just had Infinity War. We don't know the title at all for Avengers 4, but we already know now that there's going to be a 10-year time jump. That is huge. That is, that is a quite a big thing here, because we're going to see the original Avengers dealing with everything that has happened over 10 years years so they would have had 10 years of just life and everything so i think it works because it was 10 years of mcu up until this point so the time jump of 10 years is pretty neat to be honest and the fact they've got a kid is quite a big thing it will change the motivations of tony stark quite a lot it'll, i imagine he'll be less reckless he won't be flying off into space and just to, just to fight, he'll simply come back to Earth, a broken man, have a child. And Pepper Potts did mention her last things was, it's going to be. We A lot of people speculated that she was pregnant. And the mention of a child was earlier in the movie with the only scene that Pepper Potts was actually in. So with that in mind, it makes sense the fact that they have got a kid together. Now, there was an interesting casting with Cassie Lang was at, was recast in the movie. So we don't know if Ant-Man will, will have survived the Infinity War because Ant-Man and the Wasp is set before Infinity War and we don't know how he survived. We know Hawkeye is in the movie, but we also know Ant-Man is in the movie as well. So I would 
probably presume that he has survived, but perhaps Hope has not survived, which means that Cassie, has, over the 10 years, has taken on the mantle of possibly the Wasp or another superhero because she's had to learn very, very quickly. And in the comics, she did have a kind of Ant-Man powers as well. She did take up the mantle at one point as well. So this big time jump is absolutely massive. It is a big, big thing that the huge time jump means they can tell a lot more stories. And we'll, they've had 10 years. Will they be desperate enough to f get all these people back? I'm sure there's a contingent of people who have more resources, a better life, because there are less people on earth so will they want everyone to return when they they live in the sweet life and 10 years is a long time and these people probably if they are trapped in soul world well they'll return and then well what, what happens because time and life has really really moved on so with this 10 year time jump like i said it is completely and utterly massive and it's interesting to see where they go with this and what the title will actually be be interesting if they actually simply just say it's Avengers 10 years later. That, that's a pretty weak title, so I possibly doubt that that will actually happen. However, in Captain Marvel news, there is quite some very, very cool stuff with Annette Benning. She has been cast as a character for the movie, and few people are speculating that she could be the mother of Carol Danvers, and that she is also a scientist. So that'd be quite cool as well. We do have Minerva, who is um, going to be playing a, a scientist as well. It is actually she was a character who was hiding as a scientist, was a Kree warrior, and wanted to hook up with Captain Marvel, who was exiled and landed on Earth. So that makes sense. The fact that we've also got a plane crash, which could be an interesting idea that this could be Captain Marvel landing on Earth and Carol Danvers will then meet him or maybe she crashes and he saves her or the like and then she is transferred to a kind of a scientist wing or something like that which is where her mother will get more involved and we'll see Minerva as well. So that's some cool stuff there. I really do like the fact that Captain Marvel is ramping up now. That's the next film after Ant-Man and then Avengers 4. However, that is it for this video. Please drop a like. Please subscribe. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.